Today, ladies and gentlemen, I have a video for you. Um, at this point, Team Scum has m made a Twitter video slandering John Swan. And the tweet is captioned Dream is not innocent. Dream is innocent. John Swan is not the victim. And before I read John Swan's, you know, stance on the video that he watched himself too, I'm gonna go and take a jab at fucking Keemstar or Keem Scum because he's a scumbag. So let's have a watch, shall we? Justly, and it's unfair because Dream is the actual victim in this situation. Let me explain. John Swan... Oh, boy. ...on in Dream a year ago. They get into a call, they do a collaboration on a documentary about Minecraft, right? That's how they meet each other on Discord. Then shortly after that, for some reason, John Swan starts messaging Dream's fans saying sexual stuff and racist stuff, and uh, a fake Dream account starts doing this... It's not John Swan doing it. It was his family friend. Same thing, and they're working together. Now, Dream sees this, confronts John Swan about this, and John Swan says, Look, man, my friend was on my account. I showed other people my account. I was still logged into Discord. They got in the account. They're the ones that made the fake Dream account, and they were the ones that were on my account saying this stuff. I'm sorry. That was the end of it, right? But now, let's fast forward a year uh, forward. John Swan is making multiple videos criticizing Dream, whether it's legitimate or not. I haven't seen the content. So Dream gets a little defensive. Then why are you criticizing fucking John Swan, you fucking old... No. It makes a Reddit post saying, this guy's not acting in good faith. This is what happened a year ago. He was saying sexual stuff to my fans, and then he claimed he was hacked, right? So, John Swan sees this Reddit post, by the way, only has 20 likes, makes a post on Twitter and says, look what Dream is trying to do to me. He's trying to ruin my credibility. And now I see the commentary community defending John Swan. The reason I'm defending John Swan, as well as many others, is because Dream was the one who is slandering John Swan. S stupid, stupid New York nigga. Like, John Swan is the victim in the situation. No! Dream is the victim in this situation. Dream's fans were the victim in this situation. And no, no, and no. This is wrong. John Swan is the victim. Again, he's the one who's being falsely accused and slanderized by Dream and his stupid stance. And Dream doesn't have an obligation to believe John Swan's story or John Swan story or whatever you say his fucking name. That's absolutely ridiculous. And I see the commentary community saying, well, Dream Stands will just believe whatever he says. And Dream Stands will just support Dream. The commentary community has stands too. You're all brain dead. You're not looking at the situation logically. I do not. Excuse you. You're acting like fucking stands and you're just taking John Swan's side when John Swan can't be the victim. It's impossible for him to be the victim. I'm taking his side because he is the victim. Dream does not have an obligation to believe John Swan's story. And neither does John Swan. Dream is the victim in this situation, and John Swan is not the victim. Yes, he is, you liar. End of story. End the story with you. You are a fucking liar. King scum. Scumbag. You're scumbag. John Swan.
comes to his defense. One, I have never made any videos on Dream. Two, this happened with one person. The fake Dream Count messaged one person. The kind of phrasing here makes it sound like this happened multiple times and that it was repeated. Three, where's the French girl interview? Yeah, keen, keen scum. Where's the French girl interview? You don't have it. I used to know. An 18 million sub YouTuber making up lies about me on a subreddit where he thought I wouldn't see it is scummy, plain, and simple. Keemstar has always had a bias against me, and that is so clear today. At least I finally got unblocked. Oh, well. And then Keemstar proceeds to make a fucking mess of a drama alert video slandering John Swan after John Swan declined, according to Keemstar's tweet, which I'll show. That John Swan himself has bitched out of the debate of dream. This is Keen's message saying, are you backing out? John Swan says, my manager has advised me not to go on drum work at this time and respond on my own platform. I wish you luck in the interview. And, uh, one thing I gotta say about this, I, I wish John Swan went ahead with the interview anyway, so that he can defend himself and not get slanderized by Keemstar and Dream. But John Swan has his own right to refuse to go on a shitty drama channel drama channel like Keemstar, who is known, well known, as a matter of fact, for slandering the commentary community, including small YouTubers. And I am this close this year to make a video about Keemstar's past. Yeah, Daniel, I'm going to make a video about what you did to small YouTubers before. It's coming. Watch this space, mister. Watch this space. You know, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You're stands. You're a fucking drone. You're not a logical person using your brain, looking at the situation and coming to a conclusion. You are a fanboy. You're tweeting at me saying, the issue is, okay, we're moving the goalpost now. The issue is that Dream could have contacted John Swan it privately in DMs. He didn't have to make the Reddit post. John Swan is a commentator uploading public videos criticizing other fucking YouTubers. Did, did Dream lose the right to do the same? Did Dream lose the right to publicly criticize John Swan back? That's insane. That's you are a slanderer, King Star. John Swan never made videos on Dream. He. He didn't even upload videos on Dream in the past. It's literally insane. Like, this is what's going on in the brain, inside, right? Uh, what, what do my friends think? What do my favorite YouTuber thinks? Okay, that's what I think. I'm not that way. And some of you are tweeting at me, Keemstar, read the room. Fuck the room. I don't give a fuck about the room. Keemstar says what Keemstar fucking believes. You don't. You got a drone, nine, nine volt brain. Oh, what, what do my friends think? What are my favorite YouTube? That'll be you, you low IQ three minus son of a bitch. Whoever thinks that's what I think. I'm not you, motherfucker, and I don't care. And I'm not you either, you old gnome fucker. I'm gonna read all these in just a moment, but I just wanna show you how much of a scumbag Kingstar is to John Spawn and how he has a reputation of always being wrong because he's never always right and we all know that 
but Keen doesn't. In my last video, I already read the whole st statement that John Swan that, that John Swan made when he was defending himself against Dream. And just about a few moments ago, I already read some of this part on this video right here that you're still watching right now because here Keen has responded to John Swan so I'm going to read all of this now. I legitimately don't agree with you at all in the situation and it has nothing to do with ice and I only unblock you so I could read your tweets and understand your side before I voice my opinions. And the clubhouse room last night was legendary. I may keep you unlocked. I think you're dumb not to agree. Even the kid who was messaged by the fake dream account came out and said that he didn't think it was me. But separating that, please get your info right when talking about this shit, lol. Don't misrepresent what happened to try and make you look bad. Instead of a generalized statement explaining in detail, what I said was incorrect because my info comes from your public tweets and dream response. I mean, read the tweet. Points one and two, my dude. One, I assume based on dream threaded posts, you were making vids on them, as I said in my mid, I did not see them. But you definitely have been on YouTube stream. It is talking about dream. So what's the difference? Two, messaging fans or messaging a fan. That's not a massive difference. And you started off this argument saying I I start I saying Dream was attacking your credibility. According to you, you let a random person on your account. That's definitely going to hurt your credibility, bro. This was like a year ago when I have 6k subs, hell me though. I was definitely less responsive back then and and I am now. Not looking out of my account on me 100% and I've taken responsibility for that. I should have been paying attention. But this was one isolated incident with one person. This never went further than that. It's being hugely overblown by Dream. Based what happened, you have to acknowledge that Dream is the victim here. If somebody made a fake Team Star account and did the same thing, I'd be absolutely furious you come across like Dream is acting bad faith by not to believe you. That's ridiculous. It was to one person, dude. This is hugely of low. If it was to multiple people, sure, you might have a point. But I have no reason to spend my time doing this. Not at all. There is absolutely no reason for to not believe my story other than someone having it out for me. Is there any screenshot proof of what was actually said? I believe Harley to be as YT had some. I don't have any on my hand with me right now. It was a typical 12 year old trolling though, nothing more. I just watched a commentator say John Swag would never do this because it would ruin his career. You like everyone was very edgy in the past. You only had six caves subs at the time. I think you did, bro. Stop camping. Dude. Ask anyone who has been friends with me in the past two years, I would never do anything remotely like this. I was trying to grow my audience. There was no way in hell that I would risk all for a dumb troll. Worse than the motive, so many uninterventions. questions. Motive trolling is fun. Duh. Stop asking you to come to Africa. I say you do a life to test and draw alert. Don't be a pussy. Be a proud 
whatever that <laughs> could mean. <sighs> All right. Ah, I can't travel out of the country, unfortunately. Honestly, travel ban. I will set up in your city on my dime. Have one of your mutual friends, the enemy, the city you live in. I think you bought the monkey. Fine. Um, I will DM you this one time, but it does not. It does not mean I want to or like you. You claim. It was only one person put it in this street. You claim it was three people message. Interesting. He meant only one person was messaged with the dream name account. I think he meant that he DM'd three people and only one got DM'd when he was pretending to be dream. At least that's what I remember. Team Star, you're ignoring the fact that the account is started today. John Swan isn't running some long-term account doing this. You know that as well as I. And it shows some Discord messages right here. Showing uh, the conversation. But the main point here is that Keen Scum, Keen Scum is a commentary community slanderer. He was made for a reason to slander the commentary community. And one day, if I get slandered by an old man who's likely almost, at least almost, 15 year, years older than me, by March of next year, then there will be, there will be hell to pay. There will be hell to pay. Team Star is a slender. He's been known for slandering people for years. And I just can't stand the motherfucker. I can't stand him. Why does he have to exist on planet Earth? Why does he exist? I mean, seriously. You're taking down a commentary YouTuber who basically himself has like proof that he didn't do anything wrong. And the fact that King is going down that road now it's kind of disappointing, to say the least. It really is. I just don't understand how Keemstar thinks he could, you know, do and say what he wants. Because by doing that, he's actually slandering someone that I watch on YouTube. And I am against this, really. I mean, I'm all for criticism, but this isn't criticism. This is just full 100% slander. And King Scum is going to pay for what he did. And I just want to put this disclaimer out there. Um, Based on everything I've seen so far, I've been on Dream's side, 
And uh, John Swan was concerned that, you know, he was going to walk into a situation that was two versus one. I told him that, of course, I'm going to voice my own opinion on my platform, but every single one of his points would be heard. He wouldn't be interrupted. He'd be able to give his point. And I have the right to change my opinion, right? If John Swan put together a, a pretty compelling case, I might change my opinion, right? But he did. You just ignore it. He wanted me to just like be a moderator and not voice my opinion whatsoever on my platform. And I was like, uh, no, I'm going to voice my opinion on my own platform and what I feel about the situation. Um, so now by slandering him. Now, this is my biggest fear is that John Swan and the rest of the commentary community that are defending him. Oh boy. Let me guess. We are defending him, right? Because he legitimately has proof that he did not do anything wrong, right? Or you choose not to believe that. Are gonna pull the victim card and. That's because he is. He's being slander, slanderized by Dream, an 18 million sub YouTuber. Who is clearly incapable, by the way, of taking responsibility and accountability for its own actions. What the fuck, team scum? What the fuck? Well, of course, John Swan wouldn't go on there because it would have been two versus one and Keemstar is biased and all that. Look, you are biased. You're never unbiased. Come on. If you guys want to, like, play the victim card and say that you're You are signing a dream who's, who is playing the victim card. John Swan is not playing the victim card at all because he's the victim. Dream was the one who addressed the situation first on a random fucking subreddit of a dream staff, not John Swan. John Swan addressed in a tweet when he screenshotted Dream's response. When Dream was the one who started answering a dumb subreddit. You're afraid of going into a call where it might be a two versus one situation. That's you publicly saying I'm a pussy, all right? You are a pussy. We're not admitting that you're wrong. Live with that, own it, be a victim, be a bitch, um, but that's on y'all. That's on you, you fucking retarded. Minus one IQ, no. That's on you. That's always been on you. You have no self gain and credibility left for like the next couple of years, right? You say you're gonna retire soon from YouTube, right? You said that like what, two years ago, one year ago, today? Like what? You said that, right? You say you're gonna retire sometime soon? This is probably gonna be your ch last chance, Team Star. This is probably going to be your last year, too. Maybe. Next year might be your last year. Who knows? But the point here is, is that you are slandering John Swan, and you have no more of a credibility left in you. So until John Swan comes out with a video defending himself, which will be coming shortly, and once he has all the evidence, you will have to apologize because you are a slender fucking gnome.